One of the questions that comes up when people have their doubts and their fears about Christianity, when they look at Christianity, they want an answer to the question, what's in it for me? You see, the old, sinful, selfish Adam wants an answer to that question. For many people, when they look at Christianity, all they see is a big book of laws restricting and taking away my freedom. They look at Christianity as Tweety being stuffed in a cage and the door locked. Well, let's change Tweety's perspective. Let's put Tweety in the cage and securely lock the door. And now let's fill the room with putty tats. Everywhere Tweety looks, there's Sylvester and all of his friends prowling around like roaring lions waiting to devour and make a snack out of this little yellow bird. Now, suddenly, what we might have looked at as, as bars that prohibit me from doing anything are bars of freedom and peace and protection from the evil one. You see, St. Paul reminds us that the evil one, Sylvester, on steroids, roars around, roams around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. And faith in Christ, believing in He and His promises, protects us from the evil one. You see, the, the old Adam, the doubting man, always wants an answer to the question of Christianity. What's in it for me? Well, believing in Jesus knowing that He went to the cross for you, that He forgave all of your sins by His death on the cross, that He rose again on the third day just like He promised, believing in Jesus has all the answers. What's in it for me? What's in Christianity for me? How about no hell? How about the fact that the evil one was beaten when Jesus rose from the dead? He descended into hell to prove that very thing, to the one who took great joy in Jesus' death. No hell for Jesus means no hell for those who believe in Jesus. What's in it for me? How about peace? Peace for all the times that you've done something wrong. You've hurt someone's feelings. You've not done what you said you would, and your conscience rails against you. And Jesus' words from the cross are peace from you. It is finished. All your sin that should condemn you to hell has been paid for by Jesus. What's in it for me? The very fact that your Savior promises to walk with you always, that you're never alone, that He will be with you every day of your life, and the identity and faith that He gives you in holy baptism will never and can never be changed. What's in it for me? How about a resurrected body? Resting with Jesus one day and with all of those who have died with faith. And the very promise that one day, when Jesus stands again upon the earth, He will raise this flesh. He will make it new. With no more sin, no more sadness, no more death or suffering. That's what's in it for you. Jesus, for you, for the forgiveness of your sins, giving you faith to believe and trust that He will be with you always.